Hi everyone, it's Gail. And I am here today with some more Painty Messy Play. Um, we're going to work on this cover of this accordion journal. And um, before we get started on that, I'm going to answer some questions because I didn't do a very good job explaining this apparently. There were a lot of questions. So we'll do that. Let's say hi and hugs to Amy at Crafty Cat, Jackie, Linda, and Lorette. Thank you so much for watching and your nice comments. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Um, I want to answer the questions first. I think I have all the supplies out I need, but I do reserve the right to go run get something if I need to. So this little book, you'll remember us doing a bit ago. And um, so let's see. I think I think I may have put this on in the video last time. I'm not sure. Put that on that page. But um, here was one of the questions. The most frequently asked question was, I was collaging these sides, right? And then um, the question was, what about the back? Well, I am going to collage the back too. And I thought that I had mentioned that I was folding over these pieces on the front so that it gave me a head start on the back, but I didn't, I didn't um, emphasize it enough, I think, because people were confused that wasn't I going to do the back. Well, yes, I'm doing the back the exact same as I did the front one page with the, um, one page with the coffee dyed paper, one page just all collaged. So I hope that I hope that answers that okay. And see, and I haven't done these yet. I didn't, I, I kind of quit doing the, the collage because I thought you might be getting bored with it. So, but yes, both sides will have pages that are decorated and have pockets and all that stuff on both sides of the accordion, if that makes sense. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, there was a question about these papers yes you can get two out of a, a sheet of um eight and a half by eleven paper and yes you could tear them if you wanted i chose not to i just used my tear ruler so that's completely up to you that's how you want your book to look but yes you could tear them um so that was a question um somebody said you could sacrifice one of your pages to put your put your cover on. That's true too. I you know, I told you this wasn't a tutorial. This was me trying to figure it out and playing with it on camera. So um, but anyhow, yeah, so this is how it came out. Um, let's see, I think it was Donna said um, you could do this and you could do that to the cover. Well, yes, I just didn't do it in that video. Um, and it's, it's too white for me too, Donna. <laughs> so we're going to distress that up. We're going to paint the cover. I have no idea if it's going to turn out or not because once again, I'm playing. So I hope that, I hope that kind of gives you a better feel, um, for this. Oh, I know the other thing. Um, so I was, I had mentioned, geez, I wonder if I should have put more pages in it. And somebody said, you know, you could like slit it down here and add some more pages in. Great idea. Great idea. So I uh, will see, but I kind of think once I decorate it the way I want to decorate it, I think it's going to lift it up quite a bit. So I think I'll decorate it. And I think Really, you could probably do that even after it's decorated. Just, you know, take it off, put in a couple more pages. So, anyway, that's that's my thoughts on all of that. I think I'm going to go with uh, Walnut Stain on, on this. Um, and I'm just going to dirty it up a little bit. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of white. And, um... And I'm going to paint the cover, and I'm likely going to get 
some um some paint on this and I don't care I it, that's fine with me so um that could happen too <laughs> So yeah, it's just it's just a bit of play and a bit of fun, isn't it? It's um uh let's see, I had somebody say you should have left more space in between the page and the cover and it would have closed better. Close is fine the way I did it. So um I mean you can do that if you want to. You know, no rules. So um so yeah, but it it was sure a lot of fun and yeah, I like this better grunged up a little bit more. Okay, on this side, I might be a little more careful not to get it on the page. Have some ideas for the front too, but or for the decorating the pages. I just don't know if we'll get to it today because I don't know. Oh, I don't know. And I didn't look at my watch, but let's say, let's say 20 after. <laughs> Close enough. Okay. So, okay. So that's, that's happy. That's a little, a little more grungy. I actually think I would like it with a little paint on it. Okay, let's see here. Um, all right, so what I'm thinking is I, oh, I do want my baby, my baby wipes here. Get them close because I'm going to be, going to be making a bit of a mess. Um, okay, so I have some colors out. I'm going to make a plate for this out of this and we'll do that after we get this painted so that this can dry while we're doing that i think that'll be good but i'm going to use these papers so i kind of took some colors out of that paper and i don't know we're just going to see how we do i'm just going to open this like this so we can do both sides at once let me make sure i'm in camera I did draw some lines because somebody said I was off camera when I was working on this too. So I'll do my best to stay on. Um, okay, I think I'm going to use this first and just see if what I'm doing is going to work. Okay. Um, and I'm just going to get some of this on my old grubby brayer. And super lightly, super lightly just hit it a little bit. Ooh, I like that. Oops. Why aren't you rolling? However it comes out, I'm going to assume that's how it's supposed to be. Want a little more on that. Oh, good. There we go. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, I wanted to grab some tags. Uh, let's see. Okay. And have some... Ooh, look at this one. This one's all written on. That's fun. Um, and then what I'll do is... First of all, I'm going to roll this off onto my drop paper, but then um, I think I'll spritz a little bit of and just lay my tag in it. 
Yes. Just trying to use up the paint. Even though, you know, I really, I do, for the most part, just use super cheap, you know, Michael's Hobby Lobby. You can get it online. You know, I do try and use just cheap paint. Okay, but we might as well make some tag bases, right? These I did, I was mopping up something else, and I think this color would be nice on there, so I'm gonna do that too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like that. And let's just spritz a little more. Oh, yeah. Waste not, want not, right? So, um, I hope I get the cover done today. But since we're playing, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know if I will actually get to the get to the whole thing. Well, I have good news on the um, on the front of um, the guy that came and gave us an estimate on all our outside work. Mike, we hadn't heard from him. <laughs> Story of our lives. And so Mike called him today and sure enough, he answered. So that was awesome. And, um, and he said he's still working on the estimate. I mean, we did have a lot of stuff and I kind of feel for him because really, um, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The uh, prices of stuff I feel like is fluctuating so much and you know supply is weird and all of that so I I understand. Ooh, that was a little much. That was a little heavy-handed, but it's okay. I guess it wanted to be heavier right there. There we go. Wanted a little on the edge there. going to go over that a little bit too. Because why not? Now on the inside, I'll do something different. And, but I'll probably still grunge up the, the um, fabric a little bit. But just FYI, I will do something different on the inside. Since I neglected to be clear about that on the last one. Let's see. Let's Just put these back through it. Is that fun? We're going to have to have a day of playing with painty tags. I can see that. You know, finishing them up. Okay, that's good. Let's see if we can get one more kind of painty up. Okay. Okay. All right. So that one. Now I thought I would introduce just the slightest bit of blue just because that's blue. I don't know. I'm just gonna try and just do a tiny bit of blue. It's the plan. We'll see how see how she goes. This poor brayer had seen better days, let me tell you. Okay. Oop. The tiniest bit of blue, she says. And then she goes for it.
I'm not too worried about this middle space because um, because that's where the um, kind of focal point is going to be. Okay, let's see. Okay, some more tags. I think I'll, the one that's got green is going to definitely go in there. Um, I was going to tell you too, I didn't know, I don't know if I've mentioned to you, we've been watching a good series on Netflix. I've really enjoyed it. It's called Stay Close and it takes place, look at that, all runny, isn't that fun? Um, it takes place in England and uh, gosh, I've just really enjoyed it. I'm going to do the purple one a little bit too in this blue. So, um, that's been, that's been really fun. It's a limited series. I don't know how many episodes, but, uh, we just watched episode six last night and it's not done yet. So I'm thinking maybe there's eight or 10 or something. We haven't looked, but okay. So there's the blue. Okay. So now I want to do just really, I want to just try and do a tiny bit of red. Do I want it? I think I do want it brayered on. And so since I'm doing red, what do I decide to do? I decide to do a metallic. Because <laughs> why not? We'll just see what we get. Okay, light-handed, Gail. Just light-handed. one right there. Oh, it's probably going to be behind the whatchamajigger. The focal. Okay. It's okay. 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 And then, I don't know, I might need more on my, oh, good. Right there. I might just get a skosh more. in the red a little bit more than I thought I was going to and there won't be anything on this back so I think I'll okay now let me see if I can get a little more up to the yeah there we go okay Okay, now, what, okay, go off, and spritz, I don't know, I don't think I want red on any of those, so I'll just get another, a different one, and these little, uh, Blank tags I have just picked up at Staples. Ooh, isn't that fun? So, can run a little bit. 
Okay. Um, let's do a big one too. Just plenty to pick up here. Yeah, so I know you can get them at Amazon too. Um, just like search Manila tags or something like that. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, now I want to do... I want to do a bit of light. This is called light buttermilk. And I think it would be would be kind of nice to just lighten up some of the dark spaces. Okay. much right there but what are you gonna do I don't know that yeah that helps okay okay so let's see Looking at my tags to see which ones I might like to. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we'll put a little of that on this one. Yeah, that's nice on there. Okay. Um... I'm going to just, can be a background for another one, can't it? It's almost like, almost like gesso without the grit. Okay. All right. So then... Another thing I wanted to try, <laughs> I don't know, I have no idea. This might just ruin the whole thing. Who knows? I don't know. I'm liking how grungy it is, though. Okay, so I kind of want to, I think I want, this is um, metallic gold. Hopefully it's still good. We'll see. Now I'm just deciding, do I want to roll it or do I want to, do I want to roll it or do I want to, you know, flick it on there? Hmm. I'm not sure, but what I'm going to try is that gold, and I'm going to try to just put like a drop of vintage photo in it, like that, and see what happens. Ooh, it's real pretty in the thing. Okay, let's just... See how we go. Okay. Okay. Let's 
just that I didn't want super bright gold. Okay, going over that white makes me happy. water with that. I think that's going to be um, really neat on our tags. Let's see. Let's do this one. Ooh, yeah. That's really antique -y looking. Let's do this one. The green and the Oh, yeah. Really good. Uh, let's see. Got him behind me, and <laughs> it's like... Dropping him on the floor. Ooh, that's real nice. Okay, so now what? Okay, I tried that. I like how that how that came out. I wanted to say to this, you know, rolling it on with this, um, something I've done many times before, but not in a long, long time because I haven't been doing mixed media for a while. But um, Marley's at Marley Design uh, did a little did a little something with the brayer and I was like oh yeah I want to want to do that on my book okay so then the last thing I want to do is do some black splats and so I'm going to maybe I better shake that and um well that's plenty but that's okay Okay, and I'm going to use a fan brush here and just mix that around a bit. Make sure it's pretty, pretty thin. Okay, then the, then the thing is we're going to try not to get this all over my desk, but, ooh, that's a cool one. Ooh, yes, yes. Ah, that one went all over me and all over my wall. Hey, it's a, it's an art studio. What are you going to do? <laughs> oh, that was a blob. That's okay. I am going to see if I can't pick a little of that up. That was, that was a blob. Um... I want it on the, oop, yep. Gotta hold it up above, Gail. I'm trying to hold it close so I don't get it all over myself and everything else. Oh my gosh, I got my sweatshirt. Yeah, should have wore a little older clothes today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at my sweatshirt's got all black on it. My, my hutch has black on it. Let's just take a moment and mitigate the damage a bit. Gosh, Gail. That's right. Okay. Oh, I got my I got my Gale mug all painty. <laughs> Nobody ever said that play was neat, did they? <laughs> I think if it is, you're not doing it right. Okay, well, that's just kind of fun. <laughs> oh, goodness. 
Good thing I've got a new thing of baby wipes. Excuse me while I take a shower. <laughs> oh, I'll see. I'll put the spray and wash on the sweatshirt. Probably won't come out, but that's okay. Okay. So that's, that's the beginnings of our cover. We'll see where we go from here. I'm setting that aside to dry. Let's use some of this paint on these. Let's see. Get them close together here if I can. And, and try not to be too energetic, Gail. Okay, just lightly, lightly. Little bit more on this one a little bit up here okay calling that good I'm once again need in need of a shower but we are going to let's see what can I do this is the one with the white paint I'm just gonna go use up some of the paint That one's a work in progress. <laughs> okay, this is going in my water. And wipe out this. Okay. So, oh my gosh, that's a grungy cover. I'm kind of excited about it. I'm not going to lie. I think... It's really fun. Okay, so now we need to kind of get ourselves straightened up a little bit, get some stuff out of the way, because we're going to do, we're going to do the uh, focal point thing. Okay, let's... Maybe I'll just put these on this paper and then go set it on a table to dry because it's got little splatters all over it too. Uh, yeah, they're everywhere. Um, but that was fun. Look at how fun that is. Okay. I, excuse me for a moment. Talk amongst yourselves. I love those tags. Super fun tags. I might have to scan those. Okay, and then this is all painty as well. So let me set it aside and grab another one. Let's grab a dry one here. Okay. So the focal point. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with it either, other than I'm gonna put it on here. So I wanna tear this down to size. Ish. Come on, come on little guy. Ugh, there we go. Okay, I'll save that for clusters or something. Gosh, I've got paint everywhere on my table and my buffet. <laughs> I apologize for taking 
time to wipe it up, but if I don't do it now, it's going to be dry and it's going to be part of it forever, which doesn't matter either, really. Whoever owns this hutch after I meet an untimely demise might not want it all painted black since it's a white hutch. <laughs> okay, let's see. I want this torn too, so that's going to be tricky, but we're going to give it our best shot. Try to make it not look like the dog ate it. Speaking of dogs, we have our little Alfie right now. Oh my gosh, you guys. He's getting old. He's having trouble getting up off the floor and stuff. So I don't know if this has just happened since we've had him or what. But I got to talk to my daughter about it because I'm worried about him. Just tearing the edges. Sorry, guys. This is a little, little tricky to do because I don't want to lose a whole lot of the size, but I have more videos to film today. I might have to go take a shower and get all the black paint off me because <laughs> I think the next one's not going to have paint involved. So, oh gosh, sorry. I have to pull this up to my self here to get it. Okay, got it. All right, now I find this little tool handy to um, help get the get the paper off. I don't mind that like that. I don't mind having a little bit of this left to kind of glue on and stuff. Okay, I don't have my gesso at the moment, so I'm just going to use some of this light buttermilk. And since I don't, I do have a brush here, but I don't need to use a brush for this. I'm just going to put it on with my finger. Yeah, so anyway, um, but, you know, once he's up and moving, he's good. It's just getting up off the floor that's, <laughs> Mike and I were saying, yeah, it's like us trying to get off the couch. <laughs> just takes a minute to get moving. A little bit more right in here. Okay. Okay, that is good. And then what I wanted to use of this paper is I wanted to use the kind of floral parts. I don't know. Just going to go for it. And tear the edges. I want some book page. <laughs> My cover looks like a hot mess right now. <laughs> but I kind of love it. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's do 
again, I'm going to use walnut stain. I think it'll just show up better than the vintage photo. Okay. I want to go around this too, but I want the paint to be dry first. It's not too bad. I think I can start going around it. Still trying to retrain myself to ink like this. Okay. I'm thinking I might do a little bit of black on the edges as well. is the very edge. Okay. All righty then. <clears throat> I want book page. Let's see, where, what did I do with my book page? Uh, that's not book page. Oh, I guess. I picked up a bit and now I can't find anything. Isn't that how it goes? This feels a bit sturdier. Maybe I'll use it. vintage photo on this just because just for something different really gosh I feel like time's flying today I wanted to get this whole cover done but we'll see Okay, so I think I put that there and that there. Um, I want a Tim Holtz person. I know that. Um, and I'm going to go with just one. Oh, what did I do with my Tim Holtz people? Why are they not in there? Okay, well, that's weird. Usually they're in behind one of these, but... Hmm. Okay, well, let's look in this one. Sorry, guys. Gosh, I can open it. Um, this little girl's so stinking cute. I need to have her, I need to get her something to sit on though if I use her. This little boy is really cute too. She's too little. There's some of these, like this one, I feel like I use it all the time.
far those are my two top choices. How big are you? Are you big enough? I do love her. Maybe I'll use her. Just because. I kind of like the, uh, do they call it juxtaposition or whatever of um, the super grungy with this cute little, oh my gosh, this cute little ballerina. I lost some of my people out. Must not have had everything zipped. I need a new, a new situation, I think, for my Tim Holtz people. Yes, I do like that. I wondered... Okay, now where to go. Oh my gosh. I had some really great cheesecloth out. I had it with this fabric. I thought maybe this fabric to tie in the, the binding, but now I can't find my cheesecloth. Oh. That's because I threw it behind me. Threw it behind me as I was getting out the other. Jeez, peasy. Okay. So, do we want a little bit of this? I don't know. If we do, I just want a sh just a s tiny bit. Maybe, maybe something like that. And this is some great avocado dyed um, cheesecloth that might be kind of fun behind like that. Okay, but then I feel like I want something going crosswise. Maybe a Tim Holtz ticket or something. Um, don't think I want blue. About like this color. Okay. Like that. And then we'll go from there. I'm going to get that stuff on there. And we'll go from there. Okay. So I thought I would try my Tim Holtz collage medium that I got in the February kit from um, Mixed Media Minnesota. I thought I would try it because I've been wanting to. So, so let's do it. I need to, nope, it comes out, okay. Okay, so that's kind of what we want right there. So let's put this on. put some of this over the top too just to seal it since it's the cover okay now I probably want I meant to fill my glue before I started the video but once again got too excited um, I don't know I'm just gonna go for it Sorry, guys, I have to let it go down in. I, I really did mean to refill it, and then I forgot. Much preparation for... There's 
a whole lot more preparation when you're doing mixed media than when you're just like making a journal and gluing and inking and stuff. You know, the palettes, the, the paint, the paint brushes slash brayer, you know, all of that stuff. It's just like, okay. Okay, well, this I'm gonna put over the top, but I think I'm gonna use this since it's gonna be adhered to fabric. like that okay and then put this over the top okay and you little miss let's give you did a vintage photo. Okay, this, once again, this is going to be partially on fabric, so I think I'll use this. Put a little bit of this over it. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm kind of anxious to grab the the dry cover and s get this on there and see what we think. Who knows? It was fun though. We had a good time. Okay, so you little missy. Right about there be good for you. Okay, so um, I am gonna just press her down a little bit with a card. Make sure she's good and down. And then I'll put a little bit of you on here too. Okay, I don't think I'm quite done with that, but it's a good start. We'll see what else I want to put on it, but I'm too anxious. We got to see how it's going to look. This is all dry now. A couple of spots, maybe not, but... Oh, I think I'm going to maybe do something around the edges, but I'm going to put her there. So far, so good. I like it. Super grungy. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I think I might want a little black paint around the edges, I think. Okay, let's put you on. I'll put you right about there. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, I um, think I need to maybe get something heavy and put on this. I'm looking around my room. What do I have? Well, that is going to kind of be it. I think it's going to stick just fine. Um, I am going to try, before I pull out the black paint again, I'm going to see what happens if I just use black distress ink around the edge. Yes, 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 that's it. I just want to frame it out a little bit. Yep. That's what we needed. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will tell you, just in case there's some of you that are concerned about this, I have not abandoned my usual, you know, shabby chic and that kind of thing, journals. I, not at all. I'm just having fun with this for the moment. And, oh, look, I got paint on the pages. Isn't that cool? Okay. Oh, look, that's fun. Well, that was a happy accident. Oh, we got her. We got her done. Okay. We have... Not much time, if any. So, but that's what I wanted to get done was, was the cover. So, um, I am going to, I'm going to ink these. I mean, I don't know, maybe next time we work on it or something. And then I have some ideas for the inside. I still have a lot of collaging to do, as you can see on the back pages. I just have, I just have three done. So, much more to do, but that is our cover. <laughs> oh, it tickles me. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you'll have a play yourself with something similar. So we'll, um, I do think I'm going to embellish this a little bit more too. I'll be honest. I It needs a word or a flower or some stamping or something. So I, I'm not quite done with that, I don't think. So Anyway, maybe that's where we'll start the next time we play with this book. But thanks, everybody, so much for watching. Have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!